Hey, bud. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Another day in paradise. Or something like that. <laughs> um, This one kind of excites me a little bit. Your view is way more paradise than my view. I'll tell you right now. And I live in Vancouver, so I got a beautiful city. But that scenery behind you is pretty spectacular. But you don't have a lighthouse. No. Well, no. not in the backyard. Down, maybe you don't have a lighthouse. <laughs> Jay has a lighthouse in his backyard. Yeah. It's not um, actually in my backyard, but close enough. Okay, yeah, well, so Jay's a big spot. He's got the big light. A woo for Jay. <laughs> in a manner of speaking, you do. Oh my God. Um, yeah, but I, I thought um, this, this one's kind of a fun fast, fast thought. Um, also, collision of worlds, right? Because I know Shay from my days at NIMI, a biotech company, and then Kenny is obviously my, my podcast partner. Uh, but we, we have Shay on because um, Shay doesn't have a lighthouse in his back in his backyard per se but he does have a lighthouse in his backyard and the lighthouse could use some help um and so that's why we're doing this because um every now and then the podcast does some weird and funky things and fast thoughts are all about weird and funky um so i'm gonna like get out of the way for a second um shay i've known for um not not that long i guess right but i guess like a couple well, years at NIMI. Five years at this point. <laughs> years, yeah. Okay, so long enough, right? So, so I've known um, Shay like five years, but he's um, amazing, um, super smart, um, super talented, and not only does he live in PEI, which I love a lot. Um, so I live. Um, I I wish I lived some of his life, uh, <laughs> but also he looks after a lighthouse that could use some of our help. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking. Um, How the hell are we gonna help a lighthouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I first so, thought I, 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 I told Phil already, I said, "Who is this? Then who's this lighthouse yeah, people?" Yeah. Now we're. I, I thought it was a cookie brand or something. So we're actually helping a lighthouse. <laughs> no, no. So yeah, in the beginning, wow, like yeah. was, we're even into we, that we, now. We have context, Jay. Like we were on with Kenny and then um, Keelan, who's our um, executive in Min, um, who's amazing. So if anybody needs an EA person, screw you, Keelan. Well, not yet, because yeah, we don't we, um, we don't really need it for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't share yet. Yeah, so screw you, Keelan's ours, but um, we'll tell you that having a, an, am an amazing admin person is amazing. Um, but, um, and then, so they were like, who's this Shay person? I was like, oh, we're doing Shay and the lighthouse. They're like, what's a lighthouse? Ooh. I'm like, no, it's a lighthouse, like a lighthouse lighthouse. And then I was like, it's the first lighthouse in Canada that got the SOS signal from the Titanic. Everyone, that's pretty oh, cool. Oh, you know, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. And I think, Rick, you know, not that we want to celebrate, but I think we're on the 112th anniversary on Monday. It's coming up. I think up. it was, was 19, yeah. 19, 1912, right? Yeah. And I know it's on the 15th because the day before my birthday. That I always okay. remember. Um, that's pretty cool. That okay. is pretty cool, man. So with that, I'm going to shut up now. Shay, do you want to introduce yourself, kind of tell everybody the about the lighthouse and how we can help? Sure. So I'm Shay Dara. I'm currently the Vice President of Operations at Cape Bear Lighthouse in Marconi Station, Inc., which is located in Prince Edward Island. Uh, we're about 25 kilometers from the Wood Islands Ferry. So if you're coming across to the island, it's a short drive over to the lighthouse. Um, the lighthouse is a historic place. It was built in 1881. It's been moved twice due to relocate due to erosion on the banks. Basically, it was moved in 1946, huh. and then again in 2015 to the location that you see here in my background image. Okay. If you can see it. Um, and we're here. I'm here because we went out on a limb, and the president and I, and decided to enter the lighthouse into this contest called the Next Great Save from the National Trust for Canada. And the contest is really around uh, saving, but promoting and restoring historic places. And so Cape Bear really fits into this, and we thought, why not? So we are one of the finalists, one of the 12 finalists for this competition, which is a nationwide competition. And I'm here basically to tell you about the lighthouse and why it's worth saving. So um, Phil mentioned this coming in, but beyond just the fact that it's a historic lighthouse, it's provincially designated, it's federally designated as a historic lighthouse, there used to be a Marconi station on the property beside the lighthouse that was built in 1905 and then decommissioned in, uh, I think it was 1926 or thereabouts. And that Marconi station was the first land-based station in Canada 
to receive the distress signal from the Titanic as it was sinking in the North Atlantic. So the operator at the time, Thomas Bartlett, um, he heard the signal. Um, we get visitors from all over the world who know this part of the history and they come and they want to see like, what is our connection to the Titanic? What is all of this Marconi stuff? And because of the age of the lighthouse and the lack of resources that we currently have, we haven't been able to put that on display. Um, we have an eight foot model of the Titanic that we, we can't display because we don't have the footage for it. Mm. So as part of the next great save, we're hoping that we win, obviously. That's $50,000 that we would put towards a uh, renovation of a building. Um, you can't see it in this photo, but there's we have this smaller building, it's 20 by 20, that we're gonna move beside the lighthouse and we're gonna turn it into an expanded um, space for both the signal shop, which is where we'll sell goods related to Titanic and Marconi and all of that, but also to host an experiential adventure, which is where people will come in, um, Every day at 11 o'clock in the morning is what we're envisioning, and they'll get to learn Morse code. So they'll hear the story of the Titanic, they'll hear the story of our connection with it, and then they'll get to play with actually learning and typing out some Morse code and figuring out how that works so that they can then go away and tell everybody else to come and experience Cape Bear as well. So in that's order great. to move that building, that's why we need the funds and that's why we need some help. <laughs> that is so cool. Like it, you, you think about it, like there's, you know, there's a million events have happened over over time, and yet the Titanic, 112 years later, is still like, it's saying. still talked about. Like in every, like you 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 potentially could hear someone every day somewhere, like in your circle, talking about this event that happened like serious, 100 plus years ago. Yep, and it's, yeah, it's just, cool. It and everybody's I, imagination for some reason. I, 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 yeah, well, I guess it's I guess it's the whole story. You know, it's invincible. It's, you know, the unsinkable and maiden voyage, you know, she goes down. And in such a dramatic way. And, you know, thank God maybe that we picked up the, we picked up the signal when we did. Because even I can't remember how many people were lost, like 12 to 1600. And I think 1200 were saved, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. That, you know, if the signal wasn't picked up when it was picked up, like Could what happened? Worse. Yeah. Yeah. It would have like, been do you, lose, best, you know, best how best many best. more do you lose sitting in the North Atlantic in boats freezing to death? You know, I, I, wow, that's a pretty cool story, man. Like seriously, <laughs> like it's just it's who are you up against? Like who's who? Do you know some of the? Yeah, so there are. Um, we are the only contestant from PEI. Mm -hmm. There is one in Nova Scotia. There's one in Newfoundland, um, and the the other ten are across the rest of the country. Um, the list is on the National Trust's website. I don't have them all memorized, but we are the only lighthouse. Um, with a lot of the others are things that are again related to their community. So there's been train stations, there's been churches, there's been children's schools, all kinds of variety of different historic places that really have a local story to tell. There's a few. There's um, I'm looking there's for a hospital on this list. There's um, there's a couple of theaters. There's a school. Uh, there's a grain elevator. I won't lie. That's probably kind of interesting. A grain <laughs> elevator. Uh, so what do you see um, all this one? And then, um, so where I found it, and I'll, I'll load this into the YouTube video, but it's at, um, so if you go to next great save, nationaltrustcanada.ca, it'll take you to the, the right place. So next great save, three words, next great save, National Trust Canada um and dot ca and then that'll take you to where you want to go so cape bear lighthouse and marconi station murray harbor pei is first on the list and then there's um there's a hospital in montreal there is a island in quebec as well greenly island houses i don't know what that is um, there's a theater there's a school a grain elevator uh one two two churches a lodge a center for the arts and a fire station. Lighthouse, I'm thinking. Lighthouse is the most interesting. Sorry. Really cool. Not just because, you know, Titanic, a lighthouse, you know, the radio, like Marconi and, you know, and all that kind of like, I mean, seriously, this is like, I mean, it's, it's tragic, obviously, but it's cool on cool. Like there's a, that's just really, 
that's such a really cool tourist thing, even for the island, right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, not to discount the others because I think they're very cool. There's no doubt, but you know, it's Vancouver doesn't need. I hate to do this because I feel like we're picking up. We're going to get people just slamming us because we're so biased at this moment. But you know, Vancouver doesn't. Need, we're, we're already a tourist destination for a large part. Not the PEI isn't, but you know, like Vancouver is, is Vancouver. The prairies is wonderful. I get a pass lovely, because, but you know, I get a pass because in Ontario, the only thing like there's there's a a theater in Kirkland Lake, Ontario, um, and then there's a church. Sorry, mm -mm. nice. We have a lot of churches. I, nice. I appreciate it, and I'm sorry, Moose Factory, Ontario, if you're going to be mad with me. The other one that might be harder to skate by is the the Welland Central Fire Station in Welland, Ontario. But even then, it's not a fire. It's not a lighthouse. So sorry, Welland. Uh, but boy, we're really bad here. You know that, eh? Listen, Shay is my friend, and this is our podcast. So <laughs> I like this one. I just, I, just I'm all the state of is Shay is my friend, and he's yeah. trying to save a lighthouse, which is fucking cool. So well, you know what it is. I just don't um, understand Phil and Shay. I, I guess what my, I, what I find amazing is it's talked about internationally. Right. I mean, the, the Titanic is is I, I'd, I'd be surprised. There's probably very few people on the planet who don't know about the Titanic, like in real terms. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and, and you've got a, a really cool um, tourist attraction. You've got a very cool learning attraction. And it's something that we just continually talk about. They're still making movies. You know, we we just had a tragedy trying to get to the, to the dive site. You know what I mean? Like it just never seems to leave the news. And I'm actually more surprised than anything that, you know, even PEI, like the, the provincial government hadn't stepped up years ago to do something or preserve this. No knocks against the provincial government, but come on, guys. Like, seriously, it's a small you know, island. Now you're just you're getting in trouble. People to come out. I think you should stop talking now. <laughs> oh, no, come on. no. This is such a cool thing. Like, I'm really surprised that nobody's done it anything about it. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I mean, listen, it, it, you're, you're looking for tourism. You're a small island. It's not a big province as it is. And this is such a, a very interesting. And people are fascinated with the Titanic 112 years later. It's true. And I will say wow. that, you know, this, the, like any um, nonprofit, there's been a history of changes. Um, they've been through several boards of directors. Um, you know, the government handed off the lighthouse. So it's not. Although people still think that we're funded by the government, we're not. Um, we only go through and get grants, the same as any other non nonprofit. Sure. Um, and, you know, there are reasons why things have not progressed to this point. And what we've really been focused on is this past year, the current board is really strong and supportive of this project. And we went through and we did a five-year plan. And we said, like, we need to make this a real destination, not just Absolutely. another White House. So here's the five-year plan. Here's what we're going to do. We have uh, a new site plan. We have everything. We've got financial projections. And we're really going to lean into this Titanic story because it's unique to us and it's authentic. Like we're not making it up. This was exactly it happened right here. So <laughs> and it's an important part of it. I mean, again, the first guys who hear about it are the first guys who communicate and send boats out to you know, fortunately rescue a few people. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, it could have been a bigger disaster than it already was, sure. right? I mean, you sit in the ocean long enough. I don't, you don't need to be in the water. You're, you're going to freeze. This is North Atlantic, right? This isn't, you know, the Bahamas. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's chilly waters for sure. Yeah. It's a little cold. <laughs> okay. That so, um, okay. So you submitted, you're on the final list. When, when can people start voting and like because oh, you know like if you're watching this um it's all interesting and we're having some laughs over it but what shay and cape cape bear lighthouse and marconi station in case you're wondering who you're voting for um cape bear lighthouse and marconi station could really use your vote um and so i'll make sure the links are all there and they're all hooked up but when can people start voting do you know yeah, so voting starts on April 18th. Okay. Um, I'm not sure of the time. They haven't announced that yet, but it'll be yeah. through the uh, Next Great Save website. And what they'll have you'll have to do is just go to the website. You will have to 
that you input your email. Um, I'm told this process is that you will get a code that you have to come back and put in to verify that we're not getting bots voting and that sort of thing. And you can vote once a day. Oh, so, I was getting all the right? bots warmed up. I was getting all the bots warmed up. Now I, I know. <laughs> and it looks like you got from the 18th to the 6th of May. Yes. Okay. To do your voting. Every day. Hmm. Got it. Every day and as many people as we can get. So all of those That's Titanic enthusiasts cool. and the ham radio operators and the local tourists and, you know, I think everybody hopefully will want to see us win. Yeah. So I think if you're watching this, um, take you and your 10 closest friends, click the link in the YouTube channel, in the YouTube description below, get your thing and then vote every day, please. Every day. Please Save Lighthouse. <laughs> Love saving it. lighthouse. There's not many times in your life you're going to be able to say you've saved a lighthouse. So, geez, many times, <laughs> any times. <laughs> this is really ever, cool. ever. Well, right? Wow, that's yeah, it's really cool. The shit you learn just by waking yeah. up a day, right? I didn't know anything about this. <laughs> yeah. Who the hell is lighthouse people? Why we have you know who are these cookie people? Awesome. That's all I thought. Um, well, that's awesome, Shay. That's a really cool story. Thanks, Shay. It's thanks. a very cool story. And thank Good you luck. for having me on to talk. Of course. Anytime. Anytime.